Greetings Laddingtons, I'm checking in from Jotunheim. I just talked to YouTube and they said to me You're so glorious and magnificent, you must post physique. And I said to them, can I also post politics? And they said, nah, you know what, you can't, because it's a waste of time for you to do anything other than to post physique. And I said to them, you know, I'm not quite in a good shape right now. I need to get uh, jacked and shredded, receive the blessings of uh, Helios. And they said, okay, fine, you can do one last political video. So here it goes. Okay, YouTube, uh, they didn't actually tell me anything, but um, it would be fun if they had um, formulated themselves thus. Anyway, I have looked on other social media. Of course, uh, I promoted Gab quite a bit. Uh, I also looked at Mines. Mines is looking very good, to be honest. Really promising, so I will actually have that as my top link in the description box. Follow me on Minds. I do believe that can be a good alternative to other platforms. Then, of course, also, as always, Telegram. Be sure to follow me. And yeah, check out all links in the description box below. Actually, the second link then will be to my podcast because I will continue talking about social issues and politics on the podcast. But I will have YouTube more for light hearted content some social commentary of course you know topics such as simping and um, degeneracy and stuff like that but uh, the heavier topics will be on the podcast and this isn't only about you know the censorship spree uh, again YouTube have they haven't said anything to me um, so I don't know but what I feel now yeah it's better to keep the more heavy stuff the political stuff on podcast more light-hearted content, more self-improvement and, and gym stuff here on uh, YouTube. Um, different format and I do believe YouTube is better for you know a different purpose and a podcast you can give some you know longer topics you can give them justice so you don't need to keep yourself short etc. So my podcast episodes will be 50 minutes or so um, so yeah sign up I have a good and interesting episode coming in later this week. Now, anyway, on to the topic at hand. Politics is biology. This is something that is extremely important to understand when we're talking about understanding the world. I'm sorry for sounding pretentious, but uh, I'm a venerable ancient now, so I can sound a bit, a bit uh, like that. Anyway, when you want to understand the world, there is one mistake you shouldn't do. And that is to believe that others view life and view, and view the world the same way as you do. If you think that everyone has the same spirit as you, the same moral framework, uh, the same approach to moral issues, yeah, then you are in for a rude awakening. You know, for me, such a thing as lying is something I don't do. It's something that goes against my very essence of being. Same as the ancient Persian nobility. We're taught to shoot the bow, to ride and to never lie. I think it's an honorable thing. But there are a lot of other guys who, a lot of other people who have absolutely no issues at all with lying. And it might come as a shock to you if you have, you know, if you conduct yourself in a certain way that you never lie. Then you see, oh, all of these other guys, they are lying like crazy. They are being dishonest and uh, deceptive and everything. Then, of course, there are a lot of other things to talk about. Talk about morals in regards to sexuality. If I say I don't want to live in a society where women are being sexually exploited, I don't. I think it's wrong. But then you have a coomer, a porn addict, who says to me, I don't care about these women as long as I can have something nice to look at and I can coom on a daily basis. Now, if I then approach him with the argument that, you know, it's wrong to exploit women, 
that's my moral framework. His moral framework is something completely different. So therefore, can I convince him? No, I can't. I can't convince him on that plane. What I can do, however, is to try to change his biology or change his spirit. When I have changed his spirit, he will think about these things, he will think about himself in a different manner. When his soul has been healed, yeah, he will not feel comfortable watching porn because that's not who he is anymore. He won't want to sign up to OnlyFans because that's so foreign to his soul, his spirit, his moral framework. His moral framework, it's just not something you do. You know, here is a black pill. Here's a black pill for anyone who is blissfully unaware. There is a page called OnlyFans where women can sign up. And then you have actual guys. This is for real. They sign up to receive pictures from these women. Uh, how idiotic you can be um, amazes me. For any guy, you know, you can just access pictures of naked women for free. Um, that's the issue, that it is for free. It's um, easily accessible. I don't think you should do it because you should be on no porn and no fap. Sexual retention to do something productive with your sexual energy instead of wasting it um, fapping to, uh, to pictures of naked women. But, you know, paying for something that is bad for you, beyond belief. You know, pay for things that are good for you. Go and buy some nice food. That's something worthwhile. Spending it on things that are bad for you and that you can get for free. Beyond belief. But anyway, such is the stupidity of certain men. Anyway, the problem is, I can say to you, OnlyFans is bad. Porn is bad. Talking in a certain way is bad. But that is not the root of the problem. The problem, or the problems, is lower. It's more fundamental. It's your own spirit, your own soul. So if you say, I want to be a man of honor, and I don't behave in that sort of way, there are a lot of things I don't need to tell you. If you say to yourself, I will be a good and honest, honorable, decent man, yeah, then I won't tell you that you can't be on OnlyFans and that you can't watch porn, because it's, uh, it's already... Uh, the answer is already there. The answer is no. Um, and we can talk about something completely else. We can talk about such a thing as rape or pedophilia. For any decent man with a solid moral framework, with a healthy soul in a healthy body, your biology is on point, your, you know, your testosterone is decent, your, um, yeah, your various, your various components of your body, you're a healthy man, then you will agree with me that rape and pedophilia shouldn't exist at all. However, you have certain guys and certain women who do not have any problem with it. Now, of course, this is thoroughly disgusting for anyone to think about. You know, there are people who have no issues at all with pedophilia because their biology is messed up. So I can tell a uh, degenerate without any moral framework or any sound biology, I can tell him, you know, we need to, this is a good strategy to get rid of rape or pedophilia. And he might say, ah, I don't agree. And I say, but how can you not agree? Yes, because he doesn't see it as a problem. So the first step to convince someone of your politics, it's, it's actually not to talk about politics, it's to change their biology, to heal them in their soul. You need to heal their spirit, their soul, their body, yeah, their biology. Then you can say, this is a good tactic to get rid of these sort of things that shouldn't be in a civilized society. So, again, um, a fatal mistake you can make is to believe that others are viewing the same, the world the same way as you do. So I can say, you know, here's a good tactic to get rid of these things. If people don't agree with the fact that they're wrong, yeah, then <laughs> there's no sense in talking about it. So biology, politics is biology. 
you can you can view you can analyze a lot of political views from just how a person feels you know if you have someone who is depressed because of you know lack of being out in nature lack of training bad sleep they only surround themselves by um, with non-beautiful things you know again not out in nature only living in soviet style buildings they are depressed therefore they formulate their worldview in accord with their depressed state of course they would have a strange political view so instead of trying to convince them that you know this is the way forward politically no you need to change their biology first you need to say you know sleep at night so if you see someone with a strange political view yeah say to them you need to sleep you need to get out in nature uh, don't say to them you know you, your um, b your ideology is crazy because they can't see it they don't understand they can only ever understand that what they're doing is wrong if they actually heal themselves first so you have these censorship fanatics now you can't say to them you know freedom of speech is good you need to say to them heal yourself go out in nature take care of yourself sleep eat well train then they will understand yeah you know these other guys they were correct but you can't expect anyone to have good political views or societal views if they haven't you know any good um, moral framework or uh, a good spirit so anyway talking about politics more interesting more um, reasonable to talk about self-improvement and health mental health these sort of things so when I say this is my last political video yeah it's because there are more important things even politically speaking than to talk about actual politics so anyway I will meditate upon the beauty of uh, nature thank you for watching and don't forget to check out all links in the description box below XOXO